Time for an update on my first Dungeons and Dragons experience. Uh, so last night was our second night of our Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Successful night again, uh, a lot of fun. We definitely have become a lot more comfortable in our characters and their abilities and just basically the gameplay and uh, how to approach different situations and scenarios. I know in the uh, in the first night that we played, you know, a lot of our approach was kind of the same. You know, we'd have the uh, the heavy players at the front, we'd have the squishy players at the back, uh, and we'd all kind of just file into the uh, into the door. You know, like if we came across a uh, uh, a barn, for example, there we were, one behind each other, just kind of walking in. Instead of kind of taking maybe a a different approach, you know, maybe a more stealthy character could have gone around the back or. Or, or scaled the wall and gone in through a window at the top. We, we did dabble and play around with some of these ideas last night to kind of make the uh, the storytelling a little bit more interesting. And it, it netted us some great results. Um, you know, we made our way around this town that we'd come across in the first night and uh, and kind of went through each of the buildings, killing goblins, goblins as we went around and uh, uh, managed to find some great loot and... Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was it was great. One thing, no near deaths, <laughs> no deaths at all. Actually, it was uh, quite surprising. Uh, one thing I realized is, you know, being a, a paladin, I'm I'm really restricted to doing melee type uh, attacks with my my warhammer and shield. Uh, we had a couple of goblins there at one point, you know, shooting us from up above in the rafters with their bows and arrows. Uh, after one of us, you know, scaled the the um, windmill, <laughs> jumped off and managed to tackle them to the ground, killing them. Obviously, uh, it gave me an opportunity to get some type of ranged weapon. So that I, I took the uh, the bow and arrow and uh, had some successful shots throughout the game as well with that bow and arrow. It was it was quite good, a lot of fun. The best thing about last night is we all leveled up. So we're all level two now, which is great. Uh, kind of gives us more flexibility with uh, one, creating our character and two, the way we fight and having more options available to us. So for Gazgar, my paladin, what that meant was it opened up a fighting style, uh, which I ended up choosing dueling, which uh, adds two damage when I'm wielding a weapon and shield, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, with my Warhammer and Shield. It gave me the ability for spell casting, which opened up two uh, level one spells. So I chose Bless, which uh, has a 30 feet range, uh, lasts for a minute, and I can target up to three uh, creatures, which I believe includes myself, or obviously members of the party. Uh, and so when they are attacking or doing a saving throw, they actually add a 1d4. To their attack so they roll a, a, a four-sided dice and that will add then to the attack power that they're putting out and the second one that I chose was uh, being the paladin being the uh, the healer style support style character I went with the cure wounds which means when I touch somebody I uh, roll a, a 1d8 uh, adding my spell casting ability modifier I, that individual then gains hit points effectively so I'm, I'm healing them further which is nice which I think will uh, complement my lay on hands that I have when I was a level one character and the third thing that opened up was my divine smite ability which uh, I roll a, a 2d8 and that gets added to my damage output as well so uh, very exciting things coming ahead I will utilize those new, those new abilities to the fullest extent and uh, it should be a lot of fun. So we're meeting again in two weeks' time, and I will keep you updated. If you have any suggestions on how I should be playing my Paladin, uh, or you know, ideas on things that I should be implementing within the campaign, uh, different approaches I, I could be taking. Like I'm very new at this, and I don't really know what I'm doing a lot of the time. I'm just kind of, you know, taking the DMs. Um, suggestions along the way and he's been phenomenal a big help and uh, yeah please let me know add, add some comments below and give me a hand i guess with this thing uh please subscribe as well i'm gonna 
I'm, I'm committing to two videos a week uploads uh, on a variety of different things. Obviously, this D and D campaign. I have a bunch of board games behind me, as you can see, that I need to create uh, playthroughs and instructional videos on how to play the games as well. So yeah, plenty of content on the way. So please um, join me as we go through this little project and I will speak to you soon. Thanks very much. Bye.